Swedish prosecutors say they believe they know who killed former Swedish Prime Minister Olaf Palm in 1986, but say the suspect is dead. They identified the suspect as Stig Engström, also known as Scandier Man, who killed himself in 2000. As a result they are closing the investigation into Palm's death, Chief Prosecutor Christer Peterson said. Palm was shot in the back as he walked home from the cinema with his wife Lisbeth in Stockholm. He had dismissed his security team earlier in the day. The assassination took place on Sweden's busiest road and more than a dozen witnesses saw the tall man fire the shots before fleeing the scene. Thousands of people have been interviewed over his death. A petty criminal was convicted of the killing but the verdict was later dismissed. Who was Stig Engström? Stig Engström became known as Scandier Man as he had worked for the Scandier Insurance Company. He had been working late on the evening of the murder at the, the firm's HQ close to the crime scene. Engström, who was one of some 20 people to witness the assassination, eventually killed himself in 2000. He was first identified as a suspect by journalist Thomas Peterson, and police started looking into Engström 18 years after his death. It was suggested Engström had killed Palm because of the Prime Minister's left-wing views. He lied about the moments after the murder, even claiming he had tried to resuscitate Palm. It later emerged he had had weapons training. Stig Engström's ex-wife told Expressen newspaper in 2018 that she had been questioned by detectives in 2017. At the time she said the suspicion of his guilt was out of the question. He was too much of a coward. He wouldn't harm a fly, she said. How was Olaf Palm murdered? The Swedish Prime Minister had discharged his guards on a Friday night on February 28, 1986 and had gone to the cinema with his wife Lisbeth, their son Martin and his girlfriend. Walking with his wife after the film on Stockholm's busiest street, Svivagren, they were attacked by a gunman from behind. Baum, 59, was shot in the back and died instantly. Bullets were recovered at the scene from a .357 Magnum handgun, but the gun was never found.